three, two, one. There you are. Welcome back. This is the Stomp Rocket by Lobo CNC. And it works great. It's an incredible print that you and anyone else should actually try at home because it generates a lot of joy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. And there's a link in the description if you want to follow along and print along with the show. But essentially, this model is in three pieces. There's the rocket, there's the launcher, and then there's the stompy part. This is all recycled PLA from Printerior Designs, and this, at 200% scale, was printed on the Creality Ender 3 S1. It's a glorious model, but you can see right there, we've got a little bit of issues with it. That's because we've already tested this stuff. So this, we obviously took outside and we wanted to see how far it would go. Check this out. This one is 200% scale printed by Ben. It's Boy in Space. Launching in three, two, one. Amazing, right? Something 3D printed actually flew through the air, went sky high, and just brought a big smile to my face. We weren't to be outdone though. Well, actually we were. So <laughs> this is at 250% scale. This, unfortunately, well, it did go sky high, but unfortunately I don't have the other parts of the model to show you because it suffered a mallet accident. <laughs> Ah, but you saw in the background that massive rocket that we had just sitting there, and I really need to talk about that. This is the launcher, and this is at 400% scale. This is nearly a kilogram of filament printed on the Raise 3D Pro 2 Plus, and this is Protopasta's recycled PLA. It prints like butter, it looks great, and it's nice and sturdy. So this is the launcher for the really large rocket. This is the stompy mechanism, the plunger that pushes down. That pushes down. That was confetti. I'll get into that in just a little bit. This was printed on the Anycubic Viper and it's in a generic red PLA. There's actually no manufacturer on the label, so it's just red PLA. But this is cool. You need a rocket, right? I've got two of them. Check this out. This is my big red rocket. This was printed on the Raise 3D Pro 2 Plus, and this is in Printed Solids Jesse PETG, and it's glorious. Look at this. The red is just wonderful on this rocket, and it's just huge. Look at the size of it, 400% scale. Let's see if it fits. Of course it fits, we've tested this, however, if we're actually shooting this off and it goes into the air, there's a chance it could fall to the ground and crack. And I didn't want that, so I had an idea. This is Ataraxia Art Flexible PLA, not TPU, Flexible PLA. And while that's rigid, this is not. This is flexible and a very robust model. This, when going sky high, will not crack, will not break, and let's see if it fits. Of course it fits. We pre-tested this. I told you about that. So now, behold, as the big red rocket and the big purple rocket attempt to go sky high. This is my big red rocket printed in PETG, and here we are launching in three, two, one, I almost had it. Last but not least is the big purple rocket. This is in flexible filament. Launching <laughs> in three, two, one. That was a letdown. Honestly, that was a bit of a letdown. You think when you scale something up, everything just goes larger. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. And I do have an idea why. So if you take the 
the, the model here, this smaller model, as you push the plunger down, it doesn't rattle back and forth and the clearance between the parts is very specific in size. So it can create a better seal. If you look at this giant plunger, there is a lot of space between the parts as it goes down. And so pushing on it doesn't generate enough thrust through the launcher to make the rocket go high because air is escaping around the, uh, the outsides. So between this model and this model, air is escaping, not pushing the rocket skyward. Ah, the confetti. First of all, before you get mad, this is biodegradable confetti. And we attempted to put it in the rocket so that it confettied as it left the earth. It didn't really work out that way, uh, but that's where the confetti is from. Now with what we know though, what I can do is add some blue tape around the outer circumference of the launcher here, which should create a better seal between the plunger and the launcher, giving us greater thrust sending the rocket skyward. So let's add some tape to this and let's see if we can send our stomp rocket skyward. To infinity and beyond. I know that my tape job isn't perfect, but I think we've accomplished our goal. Let me just put a little bit right here, smooth it out. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like we can at least hit the ceiling. And I think at this point, the way we test it is we go outside and we stomp on it. Look at that. We're outside to test this. We're going to do the big red rocket first. And then we're going to do the flexible purple rocket. So it's a stomp rocket. We're stomping on it. We're launching in three, two, one. Gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was awesome. I guess it went high enough to break the pet G. Let's do the flexible rocket. <laughs> That was incredible. Here we go. Flexible, 400% scale rocket, Sataraxia Art, flexible PLA. It's a stomp rocket, so we're stomping on it in three, two, one. <laughs> well, that was cool. Looks like the flexible PLA survived much better than my, my pet G rocket, but oh man, you know, I really, really wanted it to go sky high. I have an idea. Ah! And it should arrive soon. Well, listen, that was the 400% scale stop rocket, I guess part one. We'll see what happens in the near future, but thanks for watching. If you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, fight for a cause you believe in, launch your rocket safely, and as always, High five. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stop on it one more time. Yeah, ready? Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> yes!